Hi folks, I'm HollandAndrew.com where we get <sighs> on Android every day. Um, just a quick ROM update. Uh, check out Dirty Unicorns ROM if you have uh, AT&T or T-Mobile Galaxy S3. Uh, if you want a great stable ROM that has everything working out of the box uh, and also with roots and with a bunch of customization, um, definitely check Dirty Unicorns out. Ugh, Dirty Unicorn uh, ROM. Uh, Unicorns ROM. This ROM is pretty cool. Uh, it is very fast out of the box. You get a ton of customization. Uh, you get the latest Android 5.1.1 and also the camera works flawless, which was a huge problem we had when Lollipop first came out for the S3. Um, I really like this ROM. I do recommend it uh, over any TouchWiz ROM out there because simply AOSP ROMs are so much faster and with Android 5.1.1, uh, the only way you can really upgrade the S3 to 5.1.1 is through a custom ROM like this. Uh, let me go ahead and go into the customizations you can do. Uh, if you go into Dirty Tweaks, you'll find all the customizations uh, you can do. Dirty Unicorns has done a terrific job of actually uh, giving you a ton of different tweaks. And this is just lagging because the super user request is uh, popping up. Just make sure to grant it. Um, you can go ahead and change the LCD density if you want to make everything look smaller, larger, uh, nearsighted, farsighted, lock screen shortcuts, uh, weather settings. This is sort of nice. Um, you can go ahead and enable weather for your lock screen and ah, for your notification bar there. So I've got weather on both places, which is really nice. Um, app shortcuts. And if you go into status bar here, You'll find all of your favorite status bar uh, customizations here, including traffic indica in indicators. Uh, if you wanna see outgoing and incoming of your incoming traffic, internet traffic, um, also battery options, uh, quick settings. You can go ahead and customize the uh, tiles here. I like to actually disable enlarge first row and also show four tiles per row. That'll give you that ah, nice setting here. All right, and also you got uh, carrier label, DU logo, breathing notifications, uh, navigation sort of big here. Uh, one thing I like about Unicorn, uh, Dirty Unicorn's ROM is that you can actually disable all of your hardware buttons and enable uh, your uh, soft buttons. So if you want to do that, go to navigation bar, enable it. I've got soft buttons enabled here. You can go ahead and customize those in buttons and you can set these to your custom apps, which I really like. And you can see my hardware buttons are working. Go ahead and hit the back button. If you go into buttons, you can also customize uh, your hardware keys here. Make sure you enable custom actions. And I've changed my menu button, sort of like my Galaxy S6 and Note 4, uh, because I got used to it. You can go ahead and customize the normal press, long press, double tap for all the three buttons, which I really like. Some other custom ROMs, they actually miss the back button, but this one allows you to all of them. Now you can also disable these keys. Now they don't work at all, which is really cool. Now you have a fully, uh, fully working soft buttons and no hardware buttons, so it won't do anything. So this is right, really nice if you want to make use of the soft buttons and just add a bunch of um, shortcuts, make it into five instead of just three. Um, you can do that there. So I really like that option. A lot of other ROMs, they don't actually have all these settings like you can disable it the home button's still working but this one allows you to do all of them uh, which i really like so you can go ahead and do that and of course you've got uh, my favorite uh slim pie uh customization options here slim pie this one here this one also i really like it you can customize the second row here easily just go into buttons you can go ahead and uh, go to second layer or the first layer you can go ahead and set these to your favorite apps I'm going to camera. All right, also I've got the customized button with the home button double press to my camera also. That's also in navigation. Um, so navigation, as far as navigation, this is just a lot of fun. Um, they got it down perfect. Uh, just a little bit better than all the other rooms. And you got all the gesture anywhere, uh, app circle bar. Um, if you want app circle bar and go ahead and enable your favorite apps and you'll be able to yeah, uh, make, make sure you change, make sure you disable the uh, Slim Pie, otherwise it's going to get a little bit messy. So use Slim Pie or App Circle Bar, one of the two. Uh, you can go ahead and go into your favorite apps easily and also gesture anywhere. 
I've covered, covered that too many times, so I'm not going to go over it. Uh, in system, you get additional uh, options for system cus animation customization, uh, ad blocker, expanded desktop, recents, power menu. Um, you can enable screen recording, native screen recording, miscellaneous. So a ton of stuff you can do. I mean, I didn't get to show you all of it. And also you can go ahead and get uh, any CM12.1 themes. I do recommend pitch black theme. Um, but looking pretty good, so definitely check it out for this week's round of the week. Um, I've got to actually install my Verizon because I forgot I couldn't find my AT&T or T-Mobile S3. It's somewhere in my house, but I lost it. But don't install on Verizon or Sprint. You can install it. Just the phone function will not work, but everything else will work. So um, do check it out and do let me know if that's the ROM of the week for AT&T and T-Mobile S3. And do let me know what you think, but performance should be great. Battery should be great. Uh, everything should work out of the box with all of these nice customization. And do let me know what you think. And as always, I stay on Android.